How do? Welcome back. Well, I'm trying a new beer today. New to me anyway. It's uh, Polly's Brewing Company Satin Pattern. A double dry hopped IPA. Uh, it actually lists the, uh, the hops on it somewhere. Columbus, El Dorado, Mosaic and Simcoe. Wow. So it's a very sort of uh, American inspired beer. Oh, yeah, and that, that uh, smells very fruity, very tropical. Pineapple, passion fruit, all what you would expect. So I'm not brewing at the moment because I'm going on holiday in about uh, one, two, three days time. So it's, I'm not going to be brewing. <laughs> I've got me the uh, me lager on with the mangrove jacks. Uh, that's uh, that's ready for bottling tomorrow, Monday. It's been two weeks now, or coming up to two weeks. So that's ready for bottling. And then when I come back from my holiday, uh, I'm going to start thinking then about all the next batches for autumn. So I'll be looking at sort of pale ales, bitters, IPAs, things like that. So this looks very nice, I must admit. This looks a really nice beer. Very hazy. So I'm imagining there's maybe some uh, oats in this. Uh, see if I can see on the can. Yeah, oats and wheat. So it's got a nice hazy appearance. I'm assuming this is going to be quite smooth to the mouthfeel. Oh, that's nice. Uh, double dry hot pale ale. It's not an IPA. I thought it was an IPA. But I can taste it. It's not an IPA. But that's a really nice. Oh, orange. Getting some orange in that. That's a really nice beer. Quite smooth as well. Nice little carbonation pushing the flavours around the mouth. But you can tell that there is uh, wheat in this. You can tell that there are oats in this because it's got that nice smoothness a little bit medium well it is medium bodied but it's got that smoothness to it as well it's really nice actually oh. and it's nice and cold because it's just come out of the freezer it's been in an hour uh bought it at the shop this morning it's been in the free, uh, freezer for about an hour and it's really nice, really chilled, lovely lacing. That is a cracking pint. Right, well, I'm actually uh, getting ready for the holidays. I'm starting to do some packing because uh, we're up very early on Tuesday morning. We're up at something stupid like two, uh, two o'clock in the morning. In fact, I, you know, I wonder, is it is it worth just going, going to bed? Uh, but I will try and get some shut eye, otherwise I'll be dead all all day long. Uh, so I'm doing my packing now, I want to get everything ready. Taxi's coming at three, so there's no time to pack Tuesday morning. Uh, and it'll all be at the front door. Uh, so I'm just now looking at my cameras. Look at that. I'm thinking of taking this camera. Uh, I don't shoot digital anymore, except for my mobile phone. And I do plan to do some uh, videography whilst I'm in Krakow. It's, it's got a nice uh, craft beer scene. And uh, I plan to visit a few pubs and do, uh, uh, do some reviews. And so I've got a gimbal. I've, I've bought a gimbal for my mobile phone. And uh, I thought we could do, yeah, do some reviews because my wife's booked a lot of these away days, uh, but one of them's hiking. <laughs> I'm like, don't want to go hiking, so I'm staying behind in the city, and I'm going to use that day to, to you know, visit these pubs. So uh, yeah, I've got a gimbal coming. I'm going to do some uh, shooting whilst I'm in in Krakow and visit some of these craft beer bars and see what the scene's like there mm. but for film I don't shoot digital anymore I sold all of my digital gear 
uh, I had several Fuji film cameras and um, they're, they're stupid prices now <laughs> I sold I could sell them for more than I bought them for uh, stupid you know a camera I bought just 18 months ago that was about a thousand pound it's called the Fuji X100V it's like a, a Leica rangefinder style digital camera I've seen that on eBay brand new now uh, no it wasn't eBay I think it was a photographic shop £2,000 so I sold it <laughs> I sold it and I got more than uh, than I actually paid for it uh, so, so I mean it's just stupid prices it's, it's now more expensive I think to shoot digital than it is to shoot film and film's gone up in price film's absolutely skyrocketed but what a lot of people don't realize is uh, the sensor in a digital camera is only good for about 50,000 to 100,000 shots uh, and if you do a quick maths if you're getting 100,000 shots and it's cost you two grand for your camera that's every shot's costing you 2p and that's the same as film so you don't save any money and you can get these cameras for like 50 quid on eBay in, in mint condition I think this cost me about 60 quid it's a Nikon FG absolute mint condition just like it came off uh, a display cabinet or something like that in a, in a camera shop uh, and it cost me about 60 quid with delivery from the United States because I think they only brought this brand out this FG in the United States uh, mint condition 60 quid and the beauty is if it breaks I can send it away and it can be repaired because it's mechanical and you can't do that with digital cameras so all in all actually it's whereas before it was cheaper to shoot digital because of these huge increases in price in the digital world it's now the same if not cheaper to shoot film uh, so that's what I'm doing I'm going to take this camera with me I've got some rolls of film hope they will uh, hand check them at security at the airport if not I'm just going to have to risk and have them uh, x-rayed but uh, yeah I'm going to be I'm not gonna oh so satisfying isn't it <laughs> so yeah I'm playing around with my cameras I'm cleaning them up and uh, I'm enjoying this beer at the same time this is a really nice beer, yeah, very fruity. And there's a nice sharpness to it as well. It's not overly bitter though. It's not overly bitter, but you get that sharpness from the hops. And a lovely mix of like orange and mango and lots of different flavors and a bit of pineapple, I think. Really nice. Uh, what's it called? Satin Pattern. Double Dry Hot Pale Ale, 5.5% Polly's Brewing Company, which I think is in Wales, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah, Brewed in Mould, North Wales. Really nice beer. I got it at Morrison's. I didn't look at the price. <laughs> you, you don't. <laughs> it's a, it's a, is it 440ml? Yeah, 440ml, which is good because a lot of these craft ales usually come in, uh, in like 330ml. Uh, cans but this is a nice 440 mil and it's a decent beer nice and smooth a little bit you can taste that there's wheat in there as well it's got that smooth mouth feel and it's got a really nice combination of hops might do another taste uh, of a different beer before I actually fly out and then uh, if I don't, the next you'll see of me is going to be in Krakow, hopefully in one of their brew pubs, one of their uh, craft beer pubs. I have to wait and see. I'm looking forward to getting this gimbal though. I uh, have to have a play with it and figure out how it works before I get there. But yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I'm enjoying the beer. I'm going to carry on cleaning my camera and having a play. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.